everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Bead Boutique. So here's another installment in my quick and easy earring series. This one comes in a kit which makes it really easy for you. I'm going to have three different metal colors and a couple different uh, bead colors. So you'll get to choose those. They'll be in the link down the bottom. All you have to do is press the more button or the little drop down arrow and that will show you the link to the kit that goes right directly to our secure website. So come and join me and learn how to make a new pair of earrings. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna be using the four basic tools and I'll put a link down below to the video that I have on the tools and explain what, that explains all those. I'm also gonna be using some 22 gauge vintage bronze uh, craft wire. And this kit is gonna come in three different colors. It's gonna come in antique bronze, antique silver, and antique copper. Uh, we're gonna be using a couple of these acrylic leaves. Uh, these are gonna come in four different colors. They will be in blue, uh, green, purple, and clear. Well, sort of a white. So you get to uh, choose any of these colors. And uh, I've got a couple of my antique bronze uh, connectors. I've got a couple different um, colors of the check glass discs to choose from. You'll get like sort of a greeny browny kind of tone and this blue that's got colors of you know blue and brown and purple and all sorts of beautiful. It's like an iris. It's gorgeous. I've got some little spacers, some ear wires, and some chain. And you'll get about five inches of chain and you can cut it any way you like and make these um, any sort of length. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna take about six inches of wire. You'll get plenty of wire to uh, make yours in your kit. All right, so I'm gonna go about a third of the way down and I'm gonna bend away. Then I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to go up a little more than half because I need to have a bigger loop. So I'm going to press that wire up and over and down, rotate my pliers, push that to the back and make a nice strong loop. I always push my wire around my tool so that it ends up with a nice nice formed loop and nothing that's sort of you know um, loose. We don't want that sort of look. Now I'm going to take my short piece of wire. Now I pre-cut these. I cut one a little bit longer than the other and we can change that later on if we don't like the length. Now I'm going to pop this little short end into my leaf. Now I, I find that it's a little bit easier if you sort of split it with your thumb as you're um, pulling it down. Now I'm going to turn it so that I can take my chain nose pliers and I'm going to come in right on top there. I want to close up that loop nice and tight and I'm going to take this and wrap it around. Now you, you can use your chain nose pliers here and I'll pull that around and go around once, twice and then I'm going to work my way back so I sort of create a bit of a messy loop. I want something a little more unstructured on this one. And you can see that these are going to come together pretty darn fast. Okay, so now there's a little bit of a burr there, so I want to just give it a little tuck there. Don't want anything sharp. So now I'm going to take one of my spacers and one of my gorgeous check glass discs and another spacer. And I want to orient these loops so that they're going the same way. So I'm going to hold it in the direction that I want it and then just pull back. So now I'm going to make another loop. And this one doesn't have to be as large as the first one. So up and over and down, forming that around nicely. Bring that wire to the back. And I'm gonna kind of get that lined up where I want it. And now I'm gonna place this through the little connector. And then come straight across. And you can see I'm going across both parts of the uh, loop there. And I'm gonna wrap around once or twice and then work my way back up to my right hand there. And I'm gonna trim this off. So now I'll just check and make sure that I don't have a, oh, there's a little tiny bit of a burr and it kind of shows too. So I wanna just pop that down gently. You don't wanna push too hard because it'll wreck everything you've just done. So now I'm gonna put on my ear wires. Just open that up and pop that in. So I'm gonna quickly make the second one and then I'll come back and we'll make a decision as to whether or not we're going to trim up this chain. All right, so there we go. We have our finished pair of earrings. Now I kind of like leaving those chains just a little bit longer like that, but you can definitely come up here and maybe trim them shorter or you don't even have to put chains, but I just like that little bit of extra movement. 
So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a like, subscribe to my channel so that you know when I have new videos coming out. And thank you so much for watching.